First here tonight at 5, Middletown firefighters find a body inside a home after it burns. And the heavy flames and smoke proved to be too much for the victim. A firefighter was also hurt. It all happened in the 2500 block of El Camino Drive late this afternoon. Jordan Burgess joins us now with the interview you will see only on 2. Jordan. At this point, investigators are still looking into what caused this fire. Witnesses say they could hear a woman screaming inside. We talked with one of the first people on the scene who tried to answer her call for help. I said, well, we got to go go in and see if somebody's there. Raymond Martinez did just that, rushing into this burning home. You can see him in this picture. Her a noise from somebody else, and uh, they say, uh, help, help. And we says, uh, yes, we come in, we come in. Martinez and another person broke the back door of this El Camino Drive home to get inside, but couldn't reach the woman trapped by the flames. Nothing what we can do. We tried three, four times, and uh, I mean, it's really a sad situation. Firefighters also attempted to rescue the victim inside, but had to pull back. When uh, you have a lot of heavy fire, a lot of smoke, and then you start getting collapse of the roof and the, and the floors, uh, for the safety of the firefighters and everybody involved, you do have to get uh, everybody out. We asked investigators what sparked the fatal fire. Any idea about the cause yet? No idea about the cause at all. It's it's going to take uh, a, a good three or four hours just to get an initial assessment. In the meantime, family, friends, was, and neighbors are left to come to terms with the sad outcome. We were just praying that they would get her out, but it didn't work out like that. And a firefighter was hurt at the scene. When I asked the deputy chief about it, he said they were taken to Atrium Medical Center, but expected to be okay. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.